Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about factors and multiples and specifically we're dealing with factors. We'll get to multiples in the next video. So factors are numbers that multiply with another number to get the number you're looking at. For example, we'll look at the factors of the number 12. What are the numbers that multiply with another number to get 12? Well, I know that 1 goes into 12 And the easy way of doing this is I, well, what goes into 12? 1 does. 1 times 12. Does 2 go into 12? Yes. Times 6. Does 3 go into 12? Yes. Times 4. Does 4? Oh, I already have it here, so I don't know. I don't need to write it down. What I can do here is do something called a factor rainbow, where I basically tie together the factors in a way that I know that 3 times 4, 2 times 6, 1 times 12 gives me 12, and that makes sure I don't miss anything. If I've got a number that's right here that doesn't have a, a rainbow connecting it to another number, I know I've missed something. So these are the factors of 12. Okay? All of these numbers multiply by something else to get the number we're looking at. Now, sometimes we're looking at common factors. So I may have two numbers, maybe 6 and 10. Okay? And I'm looking for what factors do they have in common. In a case like this, I would write the 6 down, and I would write the 10 down, and I'd write out all of the factors that I have for both of them and then I look for the ones that they have in common. So first start with factors, then figure out what's in common. So 6, 1 times 6, 2 times 3. Okay, these are the factors of 6. 1 times 6, 2 times 3. And for 10, we have 1 and 10, 2 and 5. 1 times 10, 2 times 5. The common factors we have, I'm just looking for a number that is that we see in the top row and that we see in the bottom row. And here, I see the 1 and I see the 2. Okay, So the common factors are 1 and 2. Most of the time when we're talking about common factors, we're talking about greatest common factors. And all that means is, when we look at the common factors, which of them is the biggest number, the greatest of them? And of the numbers that are in common between 6 and 10, of all of these factors, the greatest common factor, in this case, is 2. So if I'm looking for common factors of numbers like 12 and 20, I start out, what are my factors? 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, and 4. For 20, 1, 20, 2, 10, 4, 5. Which ones are in common? Well, 1, 2, and 4. Of all of these numbers, the 1, the 2, and the 4, the greatest of these is 4. So that's bringing us through factors, common factors, and greatest common factors. One thing to keep in mind when you're figuring out what the factors are, sometimes we get really large numbers like 49. And that's not an easy one to figure out all the factors for. So you could do 1, 49, and then maybe you're stuck. Well, 
At that point, bring out your handy calculator and start using it. So you do 49. You want to know if 3 goes into it? Divide it by 3 equals. If it, if it is a whole number, then put it down over here. In this case, it isn't. It's 16.333 repeating. So I know that 3 is not a factor of 49. So I can do 49 divided by 4. And I know that's not going to be a whole number because 4 does not go into 49. 4 is an even number. 49 is an odd number. I know 5 doesn't. 6? No, probably not. But I can do 49 divided by 7 equals 7. So I know that 7 goes into 49. And what does 7 multiply with to get 49? 7. So the factors of 49 are 1, 7, and 49. And I know I don't have to go any further because 7 multiplies by itself to get 49. I don't need to go to 8 because I know that 8 will not go into 49 because I've already passed 7. I've passed the number that is multiplied by 7 in order to get to 49.